Hi, Brent Tech here, where Tech is made simple. This month's Patch Tuesday update KB5003173 is now rolling out for Windows 10 versions 2004 and 20H2. And this takes us now to the fifth cumulative update and the fifth Patch Tuesday of this year, 2021. Now, KB5003173 is mainly a security update and carries numerous security improvements to fix uh, quite a few uh, security flaws. But it also includes some non-security fixes. And that is if you haven't um, installed last month's optional preview build update that rolled out near the end of April. And if you haven't installed that optional update, those um, fixes in, in that update will be bundled into this update, KB5003173. Now, if you are running Windows 10 version 20H2, it also takes your Windows 10 build to 19042.985. And if we just head over to our search and type in WinVer, if you're running Windows 10 20H2, it's your OS build is now 19042.985. And if you're on 2004, that'll be 19041.985. Now, as always, to see if you have the update, just head over to your settings, update and security. And KB5003173 is a automatic uh, mandatory update. So it will be downloaded and installed automatically onto your machine. But if you don't see anything, you can always check for updates. And then to see if you have the update, just go view update history. And yeah, we have cumulative update for Windows 10 version 20H2. That's also 2004. KB5003173. Now, for whatever reason, you are having difficulty downloading and installing the update through the Windows Update itself. You can always do a search for the Microsoft Update Catalog, and then you just type in KB5003173, and there you can download and install the update manually from the Microsoft Update Catalog, and you can just find your version of Windows 10, and then just download it and install it manually. And this normally uh, solves the problem if it is battling to install through Windows Update. Now, KB5003173 carries, as I mentioned, numerous security fixes. And there are a few other highlights that we can mention in this update. And the first one is that it enables the news and interests feed. And that is for those of us who have not received it yet, because in my part of the world, I haven't received it when it was rolled out initially. And it is a, you know, on a controlled rollout. So this update, for most of us, we should be getting the news and interests feed. And I'm not going to talk, talk too much on the taskbar widget because I have made a video previously on this. But basically, when you hover over it, it just gives you your top stories, your weather, some interests. You know, you can refresh the feed. You can manage interests. You have some settings. And then if you right click on it or your taskbar, you get a new entry now in the right click menu which says news and interests and you can show icon only or you can turn it off completely but I'm going to leave it on for now as the novelty still hasn't um, worn off yet. Now just be aware though that although it is uh, being rolled out with KB5003173 it is still on a staggered controlled rollout so not everybody will see it just yet so just be patient if you don't get it with this update I'm sure that you will be getting it in the not too distant future because it is on a staggered controlled rollout. And then, as mentioned, there are numerous security issues. Basically, in total, there are 55 security issues that have been patched. And some of these are, it also updates security for your Bluetooth drivers. And then it, the, secu the security updates include the Windows app platform and frameworks the Windows kernel, Windows Media, the Microsoft, Microsoft scripting engine, and the Windows Silicon platform. So as I mentioned, lots of security improvements, 55 in total. Those are just some of the highlights. And then it also updates um, the servicing stack, which is the component that installs Windows updates. So it's just making things there a little bit more reliable um, for the Windows update uh, servicing stack. Now. Another one is it fixes high CPU usage. Now, I've also made a video on this previously, but apparently the 
our CPU usage bug has now been fixed as well. And that was caused by last month's cumulative update. And many of you um, experienced a lot of lag with your CPU as it was using, um, you know, it had a high usage. And it was causing a lot of um, performance issues. And that was caused by last month's cumulative update. Now, apparently, Microsoft says in this update, KB 5003173, that problem is now fixed and resolved. And it also fixes an NTFS deadlock bug and then some issues with your file explorer. So plenty of um, you know, security issues have been fixed and some other little highlights there that I've mentioned. But for me, the main one is I get the news and interest feed, which I've been looking out for for quite a while now and for some time. So KB5003173 is now rolling out and available for Windows 10 versions 2004 and 20H2. I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.